Welcome to Book's World. But you can pause this video right now, go back, hit the subscribe button, then come back and watch this DIY. Okay, hello and welcome to Book's World. Today I was called in to um, take a look at a toilet that was leaving a leaky floor or actually leaving a puddle on the floor. All right, so first thing I did was come in, I mopped up the water, we got it kind of clean. Um, second thing I did, this is just something that I do just to check to see where the water might be coming from. You know, you have to take your steps to isolate the, the problem. So what I went to is the main water valve and I tied a piece of tissue here to see if we have a leak right from here. All right, and then I went right above to see if it gets wet leaking from here. All right, as it stands right now, um, I actually both are dry. So I'll go to my next step. My next step would be to pop the top. And this is what we found. Took a look inside, to see if we see any cracks or any washes that might look deformed. And actually it seems as though the tank is holding water. Next step, take a flush. Oh, and this is what we find. Okay, this is the problem. Fill valve. The fill valve is defected. Actually, as I open the main valve, you'll see water is coming out where it's not supposed to. Water is supposed to fill from this hose. Not from the actual valve. All right, so basically what was happening, um, water was shooting out on the top, and then it would overflow, run over from here, leak down the bowl, down the pipe, and onto the floor. So, we'll turn this off, and we'll go to our next step. Remove and replace the fill valve. All right, so the next step is turn your um, main valve all the way off. Flush the toilet, let's start getting rid of the water. All right, you'll still find some water in there. I guess you take a towel or however you choose to get the water out, suck it out with a straw if you want. That That's a joke. Um, but get all the water out and then we'll go on to removing the fill valve. All right. Next step, unscrew whatever you want to call this, <laughs> and that loosens that up. And then we get to the nut that um, actually holds your fill valve secure to the tank. Lefty Lucy. There you go. Okay. Disconnect your float, disconnect your hose, all right, pull out your fill valve, go to your nearest hardware store, Lowe's, True Value, um, Home Depot, and they're not paying me for any of this, but um, go to any one of your close hardware stores and get the exact replacement, or one that's even better. Okay, so we opted for... A new, updated, um, more modern type of um, fill valve. This one happened to come with the flapper. We'll put the flapper on the side um, <clears throat> for a later date. But with this new one, what we opted to do was take our lead pipe from the valve and just replace this also because the length is a little bit different from the head. So we actually went out and bought us some um, speedy connectors, which is a little flexible makes your job a little bit easier plus you're updating the system as suggested you should replace your fill valve at least once every five years and to reinstall just pretty much do everything in reverse and here's the finish install product voila so here's a quick overview of what we've done um we replaced the old um fill valve with this new fill valve all right um came down since we opted to put in a new valve, we also opted to change our lead water pipe. This actually was the old one that was there. Um, it didn't actually fit correctly. Um, so we opted to buy the quick connect. All right. 
Don't forget to use, when you connect it, a little bit of Teflon tape um, as needed. All right, everything else is connected correctly. So now what we'll do is come back up here, insert our holes to the proper channel. Go down here, turn on our master water valve, and let's see what happens. tank fills we'll come back down here check for leaks um, that's residual water right there but what we'll do is dry that off I'll dry it off real good and I'll sit here and I'll watch for leaks all right again hopefully this video has helped you I thank you for tuning in the books world if it if this video helps you at all please like share comment and definitely Definitely subscribe. Okay, we see our new float. Yeah. Floats.